just got back from the Philippines. And was it more fun in the Philippines? Yes, it definitely is. It's more fun because you have so much adventure. There's so many beautiful islands that you can explore. And then you also be surrounded with happy people. It's got me wonder, why are they so happy in the Philippines? Why is this, everyone so friendly? They are just so hospitable and so happy. You just feel so happy just to be there. Why in the Western world? I'm checking prescription with antidepressants every single day. What is the difference? How can we cram our environment so that we too can be happy? It's a million dollar question that what do you need in your life to be happy with who you are? So I had a lot of time to be in my airplane mode it's with my phone and with myself and to compare and contrast what is the cause of stress and anxiety and unhappiness that people when I was surrounded myself with what caused them to not be happy what caused them to constantly complaining about their circumstances compared to the people in the Philippines and also I had the opportunity to read through the almanac of Ravo Ramikhan and the lesson that he shared in his book for us to know that happiness is a skill skill that you have to practice and that you have to hone it day in, day out and it's like a muscle that we can strengthen it and it's a choice that we make every single day in order to live a happy life so here are some lessons that I've gathered to my time of living in the Philippines and the lessons that I've learned from the Almanac of Navo Ramikan and I hope you find them useful if you are feeling down or if you are feeling unhappy with where you are in your life and you want to make a change and as we are coming to the end of 2022 you probably will have a lot of time to reflect and to have a slower approach into where you are in your life what changes do you need to make to prepare for the 2023 with full of love and happiness and i hope you find this lesson useful just as much as it had impact in my life so when i had a lot of time to think about it to reflect on it i realized that i was not happy because of two reasons reason number one is because I was westernized. I was chasing to all the materialistic things and I'm so glad that by implementing the minimalism approach and if you haven't watched that video I will put the link on the description below about how minimalism has changed my life. The second reason why I think I was unhappy with my life at a certain point because I was chasing that external validation the emotion the mood swing that i am going through or we are going through we wasn't happy because uh, we constantly build our mood based on the people that we're surrounding with we're relying on the amount of likes that we get on instagram or facebook or we're just too busy comparing ourselves with other people with the things that so and so has and that we don't have those things and yet jealousy is just eating into us and that's what causes us to be unhappy and here is a very interesting quote from Neville about happiness happiness is a skill you develop and the choice that you make you choose to be happy and then work at it it's just like building muscles it's just like losing weight you have to learn it just like what you learn on your job at the other job that we have for ourselves is choose to be happy lesson number one is to forget about what you should do we keep telling ourselves that we should lose weight we should eat healthy we should save money you should do something I mean you don't really want to do it and it's not the priority so if it's not a priority right now then forget about it you will do that when it's the right time when you know how important it is to do whatever you need to do because otherwise we are just constantly putting expectation into ourselves and it creating stress and anxiety for no reason so forget about the should tip number two is to treat jealousy as a disease because it's just an evolution process that we need to adapt or we die and we have to compare constantly find the best way to do certain things but then as complication from it we constantly comparing ourselves to other if somebody has similar background similar upbringing who become so successful at something then we we push ourselves down 
So instead of comparing yourself to others, stop and ask yourself the question, can you do what they do 24-7? If you cannot do their grind, then stop and be happy with who you are. Uh, you are perfect just how you are and don't compare it and just be happy. Tip number three is to choose your environment wisely. We are the average of five people we spend the most of our time with. So if people surround you just look like, just want to sit and complain about their life, then automatically you will eventually become them. You would again look in life in a negative lens and you will not see the beauty that have around us. And we are so lucky that we are not three. We have the freedom to move to different locations, to broaden horizon then why not make the most of it? Why not go out there and explore the world? We just have to believe in ourselves and know that we can make it happen. The other thing that Neville suggests is that when working, surround yourself with people who are more successful than you. Be the dumbest one in the room to learn and be inspired by others and be surrounded by people who are happier than you and eventually you become a happy person. Number four is to start living in the present at every single moment in time. Even when we're brushing our teeth, we're trying to plan our day. And whenever we feel anxious, we we're the anxious about why we don't know what the future will hold or we're stuck with whatever happened or we rewind with something bad happened to us in the past and we forget about the present moment. So Navo suggests us to live in the present, to be right here and right now. At this moment in time when I'm sitting here doing this recording with you, this moment in time might not come again. I will do the best that I could and try to enjoy it. So number five, never suggest us to stop saying why and start saying wow. Go out there, go explore the world if you can. And actually, by coming back from the Philippines, I've just realized that we can live comfortably and have a very good life over there with a fraction cost of what we would have paid if we live over here. Number six, it's to zoom out your problem. Navo suggests us that if you're feeling anxious with whatever challenges that you are facing, then stop and ask yourself the question, are you going to be unhappy for the rest of your life if you don't have whatever you are chasing? Then if the answer is no, then you're probably not worthy to be unhappy about it. Stop postponing your happiness just because you are chasing a certain goal and dream at one moment in time. And the quicker we can use that approach, the quicker we will realize that it's not that important, whatever circumstances that we have facing, the challenges that we might think, it might look so big like an elephant right this moment in time, but if we zoom out, it actually will become not such a problem. And I think just going back to this time last year when I was going so much stress through at work and I feel really down every single day. And now I'm looking back when I was in that moment, I was so unhappy, I was so stressed with all of the challenges that I've got at that moment in time. But right now when I look at it, I've forgotten what I, whatever. I knew, I just knew that I was unhappy with that circumstances, but I cannot remember what specific problem that was. So it wasn't that important, but I did not know that at that moment in time, because I was sitting in my problem, drowning with all the problems I was facing, and it became so big, and it consumed my life, and that I could not enjoy anything that I've got. I forget to feel grateful with whatever I've got. I was drowning with all of the problems I was chasing, and I forget to live my life, and I postponed my happiness because I was waiting to solve whatever problem I needed at that moment in time. But if I knew to just sit and question myself, is it problem going to be impact me for the next this time next year? Or is it gonna be a big problem? Is it gonna change the course of my life in the next five years? And if the answer is no, then forget about it. It is not that important. And the final lesson from Navel, which is also my favorite, is that Tell others that you are a positive person and you have to live up to it. It is like a self-discipline and a self-image that you are trying to build. And as he put it, first you know it, then you understand it, then you know to explain it and you feel it 
And finally, you are it. And how interesting is that? Just like me, first I know about the concept, then I have the opportunity, then I start understanding it, observe and contact, compare happy people versus unhappy people. Then I would know to explain it in my video with you guys. Then I start feeling it and finally I am it. I am a happy person. I'm so glad I know that concept. That's it. That's all of the lessons and the observation that I've got throughout my time living in the Philippines and be surrounded with happy people over there. And the lesson that I've gathered through reading The Almanac of Navaramikan is such an interesting book. And not just about happiness, there's also a lot of suggestions on what we can do to improve the quality of our life, to build our wealth over time, and to build happiness as a skill. I chose happiness and I hope you do too. Thank you very much for listening and I look forward to see you again in the next video. Take care and goodbye.